Dunedin has enjoyed an Indian summer of fairly spectacular proportions, with some unseasonally sticky days in April and May. However, that looks set to change, with severe gales being predicted over the next 24 hours. Hydrologist Dave Stewart of Rain Effects is here to tell us more. Good evening. Good evening. Do you come with good news or bad news? Bad news. Oh, OK. Well, it's good to get that out of the way first. Yeah. How different, though, was this late summer to previous years? Uh, very different. I, I recall one equally as good probably about 20 years ago. Wow. But that's only because I remember this sort of useless information. <laughs> uh, most people don't. But it was it May, for a May like we've had, brilliant. And I know they're talking about the temperatures being so miles above average. We get some pretty cold stuff over the next few days. That'll pull that average down pretty mm. quick. Um, so we won't be that much over average by the end of the month. We've still got what, another 12 or 13 days to go. There's some cold stuff coming, some cold stuff coming over the weekend. Uh, it looks like a southerly direct from the pole. So whether it'll be snow or not, I don't know. It doesn't look, doesn't look it yet, but it may. Uh, the whole system is changing each time I look at it. Um, during the day, it's changed a little bit more, but at the moment it looks like a direct southerly right through Sunday and maybe Monday. And we have enjoyed some fabulously quite still days, not much wind, which is kind of unusual for Dunedin, isn't it? Met Service says that we're in for some high winds. Well, we've had some high winds. Um, there'll be some high winds with the system coming through tomorrow uh, and over the weekend, uh, probably uh, south to southeasterly. We don't usually get snow with the southeasterly. They can get some inland, but we don't usually on the coast. But it could be quite windy in exposed places. Um, and it will bring rain or showers with it. Uh, so we can look forward to a fairly wet weekend, probably from Saturday onwards right through to Monday. Um, so it looks like the end of the golden weather. Uh, not to say that we won't get some nice weather, but as everything cools down, then we can start looking at frosts and all that that we have oh, managed yippee. to avoid. Yes, mm. it's, it's fun, isn't it? But winter is actually only about a week and a half away. What, what are we looking at for winter? Well, Niwa tell us that um, we should have a warmer than usual winter, uh, but there'll still be some really cold southerly outbreaks. So probably a bit like last year. Uh, and I know people said last year was a cold, mm. really cold winter. And we had seven lots of snow, I think it was. Um, and But in between the snow, the weather was actually warmer than average. So it didn't seem as cold last year. but. It, you know, temperatures tell the story, perhaps, but average temperatures do average out the, the warmer stuff. Mm. Now you are predicting that the El Nino pattern will turn to La Nina around June. What's your take on that? Well, the El Nino has basically gone. Uh, it's been gone for about a month. Mm. Um, but the, the weather seems to take a while to recognise that it's gone and adjust to back to normal. Switching to an El Nino, I, I mean, they can predict it. Um, they quite often get it wrong. So uh, it probably doesn't mean very much until we get through to summer when we have, uh, when we could have a lot more northeasterlies and, and, again, and again, reasonably dry conditions, uh, especially along the east coast. Mm. Now the farmers are the ones who normally suffer when the temperatures are a little bit warmer. What do you think they should be doing in, pr in preparation for the coming winter? Well, there's not a lot they can do now. Um, they needed rain in March and April so they could get some decent growth in. If they haven't got it now, they're not going to get it. It's going to get cold. Usually from about um, south of about Palmerston, you don't normally get a lot of growth through winter. So even if we got a big deluge, there's a bit of warmth in the ground, but uh, they're not going to get a lot of growth. Now all they have to do is conserve feed um, and feed out where they need to. And if they have to, they might have to buy some feed in. Now, Niwa uses modelling to make predictions. Are they good? Are they quite reasonable, reliable? Well, we could toss a coin <laughs> uh, and probably get not a, not a lot of dissimilar to what we had. Mm. They predicted a warm, uh, a warm period right through from November through to, well, they did say April maybe. Mm. We've had it right through, we've had warm weather through to May, but from memory, the first uh, month and the final month of last year and the first month of this year were pretty uh, pretty average mm. with a lot of rain and stuff, which doesn't normally happen with an El Nino. Mm. So we had an unusual El Nino. And as somebody said to me, none of them are ever the same, and they're not. And so a general bland, um, 
this is what might happen or this is what will happen is, uh, well, they will fall over occasionally. Mm. And so, you know, it's anyone's guess. Dave Stewart from Rain Effects, thank you so much for your good and your bad news. You're welcome.